Hey, it's Mike from MD Airsoft. Today we're gonna to go over the use of a multimeter and how you can use it to troubleshoot uh, various things on your gun. Now, before we start testing, you have to make sure that your multimeter has this little symbol here. It's a music note, which is beside uh, right facing arrow. What that tells you is that it has a continuity or connectivity test. So when I touch my two leads together, it beeps saying that I have a good connection. Okay, first, before we get into the trigger stuff, if I wanted to test this piece of wire, simply just touch the two open ends and I hear a beep. What that tells me is that this piece of wire has no breaks in it. Now, if it did have a break in it, you wouldn't hear that beep and these numbers here would go higher, meaning there's a lot of resistance or open open gaps air. So, can you use it to check your fuses. I don't know if you can see it here, but this fuse right in the middle is broken. So, if I touch my two leads together, I shouldn't hear anything, which I don't. So that means this fuse is bad. Now this fuse, if I touch the two ends, I hear a beep. So the filament inside is making contact with the two metal caps. So we know that this fuse is good. Now to troubleshoot your trigger and your wiring harness, it's pretty simple. The negative lead from the motor to the battery, the battery would be up front, this is a front wire trigger unit. The negative lead is one long piece. So, if we were to test this here, I hear a nice solid ring. So that means that from the motor to the battery is one solid good piece of wire. Okay, now in order to test your trigger, you have to touch both ends, one at the battery, one at the motor together. Now I'm touching this and I'm not hearing any beep. That's because you have to depress the trigger as well to make a full connection. And when you pull the trigger, it makes the connection to allow electricity from the battery to flow to your motor. So if I have a good trigger unit here, I should hear a beep here with my trigger depressed. And I do. So let's say this is forward and you're not hearing a beep. So you obviously have an issue. Some of the issues that could arise is that these two prongs inside here are spread out really far apart. So that when you're pushing the shuttle, it's not making a good contact between in the gap here. So what you can do is just kind of bend them closer together, okay, so that when you pull the trigger, it'll make a good contact and you can test again. Now, let's say you're doing this and you, have, you know you have good contact, okay. Well, on the positive side, it's broken into two different wires, okay. As you can see here, on the trigger, if I follow this, okay, this wire goes to one of these two contacts and the front wire will go to the opposite. So if you can see here, this wire comes into the gearbox, attaches to what the contact down here, which runs up and touches this contact. So if I were to touch this wire to this side, I hear a beep. So that tells me that this contact on this side all the way to the battery is good. Okay. Now, this side, you can do the same thing. You want to test it in two places. This is open down here. So you test it here, here and here. Okay. And you can also test it on the opposite side. So hold it on the opposite trigger or sorry, on the opposite contact to 
the mo to the motor lead. So you can break it down into the full system, individual wires. So if you're hearing beeps from the motor all the way up to the battery with the trigger pressed and a beep from your, your negative lead all the way to the battery, you know that your trigger housing, your trigger and wiring are good. Now again, if you don't hear the beep, you know, you have to go over, okay, are, are these pinch close enough so the shuttle can make good contact? Are the wires in good shape? Stuff like that. So using this tool is very helpful. It can save a lot of time. You don't necessarily have to break the gun down all the way to the gearbox. Um, to do a quick test, and when the gun is in its full assembly, just pop these off the motor, you know, pull the trigger, go all, unplug your battery, go all the way to the battery. If you hear something on both ends, you know your wiring harness is good and it could be another issue, such as the fuse. Okay, hope that clears some up, clears some stuff up. Uh, if you have any questions, feel, feel free to ask and comment. Uh, this has been Mike from MD Airsoft. Thanks for watching.